hello and welcome to another video in this video we are installing windows xp if you are new to the channel hit subscribe it helps out a ton and if you find the video helpful make sure to leave a like so to window everything you need will be provided in the description down below so just get all the things downloaded we just need the iso and the rufus ex this is a service pack 3 this is the only one that works with uh, rufus and most bootable USBs because the service like one and two was a bit finicky. So make sure you get it. Just make sure you get it get the ISO from the description. So after you open up Rufus, make sure your pen drive is connected, then hit select, and then we just have to then we have to select the ISO file, hit open, and then in here make sure your partition scheme is MBR and it will only support MBR because well it's an old system and it's a legacy system and it also is only 32 bit and to make everything should be fine however it is and also make sure the file system is ntfs so if it shows something else uh, then just change it to ntfs then hit start and it shouldn't take that long and make sure nothing important is on the pen drive or usb drive uh, because it will clear out every single day thing on that drive so just wait for it to complete and it shouldn't take that long so now that our pen drive is ready we are ready to move on to the next step now here i'll put on a disclaimer just before everyone you know comes at me with pitchforks and stuff uh, if you are doing this in an actual system at this stage you have to go to your boot menu and boot into your pen drive so connect the pen drive to your laptop or desktop then boot into it so you can continue on with the setup now i'm doing this in a virtual machine so i can show you how the setup process goes now uh, now everyone can follow along again so after you boot into your pen drive this is the window you should see now this is the reason why i uh, actually wanted to do this in a virtual machine so i can actually show you the screen what will be available so just wait for a bit and it will Come here and you just hit enter you can see it at the bottom it says enter to continue repair and quit so we'll just hit enter and then we just have to hit f8 to agree again you just have to <laughs> agree to it because it won't let you install otherwise so and here you can see we have an unpartitioned space for 20 megabytes now i can just hit install and it will work or you can just create a partition both of which is fine so if you already have a partition just make sure it's a ntfs file system and you don't have to worry about it too much so if you were already using a windows machine then you don't have to worry about this step just hit enter and if you don't have it partitioned this is the window you will see you can see it says format the partition using the ntfs file system just make sure you select this uh, don't select the first one just select this one and it will clean it out nicely then hit enter and it will start setting it up and again the setup process of xp is fairly simple so if you can just get into the setup it will work fine now while this is installing here are a few things that i would like to talk about which is what you are getting versus what you are not getting in xp in with Windows XP, it's a fairly old system, so it doesn't require that much resources. So if you have a really old system, or maybe something around that era that you may, may, maybe the Windows just uh, died for some reason, and you just want to revive it, Windows XP is a very good option. But let me remind you, it doesn't have any support, so you won't get any security updates or
any type of security thing so just keep that in mind when you are installing and it will also not have any drivers into it so you have to manually install them after you boot it up so now just hit enter and it will reboot the system now it's asking us if we want to boot but we don't we just want to boot into our xp machine So as I was saying, you need to install most things onto this, like a browser, because it will come with the Internet Explorer, which is, you know, already dead. So just make sure you are prepared. And also you are not installing XP on the, on the system you are making it bootable on. So just think about it and then work accordingly. Also, if you are doing this on an SSD, it will be much faster than doing it on a hard drive. Now, we will get into the setup, we will just hit next and then we just need to name it. So, I don't do any organization, I will just type in name and as for the product key, I will see you guys after I type it. So, after you have uh, given your After you have done your license thing, after you have given your serial key, it will ask for a password, admin password. Now you can actually create it and I will just ignore this. I can do it, but I don't want it. Also a computer name and then uh, and you have to set your time. So you can just set your time zone and it should be like, So you just have to set your time zone and then hit next and it will start installing. So just wait for it to install and you can see it says typical settings or a custom settings. So I'll just keep it at typical settings. This is the networking uh, stuff and usually it will take the default thing. Usually the default options will work just fine. So and this system is not on network so we don't want to uh, connected to a network right now so now just wait for it to install and I'll see you guys after this is done so this is basically where it's the setup process is mostly done so it will adjust my screen resolution yeah hit ok That's basically it. That's how you install Windows XP. And the other antivirus may, be, may say that sometimes. So, again, 
No, this does not have any drivers or anything. So, make sure you keep that in mind. And if you need any driver, just search on Google, you can find it. Just make sure you are careful on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.